So today I got something very special for you. It's a red snapper filet with a creamy sauce made out of the bone. So it's, I don't throw anything away and you will utilize the flavor of the red snapper perfectly. And I pair it up with white asparagus, one of the last of the season. And I was walking across the supermarket and I saw the fish and I just couldn't resist it. I thought this would be perfect for you. But why am I still talking? Let's start cooking. So we first start off with our creamy sauce because that is going to take quite a bit. It's actually going to take the longest of the entire dish. And let me explain how we do it. So you start off with roasting the bones in the oven about 160 degrees for one hour. One hour later. So after that hour, we're taking out of the oven and we will add onion, garlic, leek and potato or you can just grab your bag of uh, soup vegetables from the freezer in the supermarket. That works just as fine. I did that. It's maybe even cheaper as a whole. And then we also add white wine and cream. I would say about one liter, uh, maybe two liters white wine and two liters of cream and just add it in there and throw it for another hour in the oven so that all the flavors get beautiful mixed in together. One hour later. Okay, so now the roasting is done and it's like two hours later, which is freaking amazing. And so now what we need to do is enhance the flavor, make it more creamy, more rich. So the best way to do it is just strain everything and reduce it. For, I would say that you have half or maybe a little bit less than half left over so that it becomes nice and thick and it remains so creamy and just then put it in the container and let it cool off. Now, next I will do the fillets. I slice them in nice beautiful pieces and I brine them in a uh, salt water brine. So that's one liter of water and 10% salt. And I leave them in there for 30 minutes. You can do this actually. Uh, you can make the brine while the uh, stuff is roasting in the oven and then while it's cooled down you can brine fish while it is uh, reducing the wine and then shortly after everything you can fry the fish while it's nice and moist you just fry it nice on the skin side and bring it all together i hope you enjoyed the video and please, if you do, like or subscribe, it would be, it would mean the world. But for now, have a nice day.